Um, so initially you put in positive work, and at this point there's 100% potential energy and no kinetic energy. Halfway, as you release it, it's half potential, half kinetic energy, and at the very bottom there is no potential energy and all kinetic energy. As the ball comes down, it has no more potential energy, okay. it hits the second ball, and with the, the last collision, it transfers the energy to the other ball. balls, and Newton's third law, okay. the oh, I, ball, I so second ball also um, has an equal and opposite right. reaction onto the first ball, which stops it, and it transfers the energy to the other balls. So after the transfer of energy, this little ball is going to have, based on the conservation of momentum, the same speed and mass as the initial ball. So once the transfer of energy goes, it is going to go up the same exact height or less than this first ball. It can never go higher. So it has kinetic energy going up, it has potential energy going down, and then repeats the same process as before as it comes back down and hits kinetic energy and collides with the ball. How did you like the Newton's Cradle project? <laughs> um, I liked it. It was really cool, and there was a lot of physics involved, but it was really easy to understand once we had made it. And also, we had like a five-minute lesson, I think, on it. He used um, the big one, the big ball over there, to help explain it. And having a physical model of what he was explaining was so much easier, and I could, I, I understood what he was saying almost instantly. It was so much better than having him just like lecture, like try and <laughs> draw it on the board. Um, so <laughs> that was why it was so funny. Alright, so our new Cradle project was the first project that we did in this class that was actually hands-on all ourselves. We had to bring in all our materials and design it ourselves. And for our first time, me and my group, our project did not work. It kept breaking and it just like it, the balls wouldn't go right. So that was a huge problem for us and that we had to restart and we had to keep re-drilling the holes in our wooden dowels and I've never used like a screwdriver before. So that was really interesting. And it's it's drill. drill, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Restarting. So, do you want to read it? Yes, I said that already. Um,